Let's review the newest men's fragrance from Louis Vuitton Imagination. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow my Instagram page. But that's right. Today in my hand, I have the newest launch from Louis Vuitton targeted towards men, and that is Imagination. Now, I cannot wait to be reviewing this one for you guys because I've been a huge fan of Louis Vuitton. As you see from my recent videos, I've been reviewing a lot of them, like Lamentite, Nouve Monde. I got Imagination, and I just recently got Oraz within a month, guys. So, you know these Louis Vuitton fragrances are good if I got four within an entire month, and these things are not cheap. Imagination was not a love at first sniff like La Mentite, Nouve Monde, and Oraz was. However, after testing this one on skin rather than just a test strip at the Louis Vuitton boutique um, and see how it actually develops on me, I appreciate this one a lot more now. So let's go over some information about Imagination. So this fragrance was launched in 2021. As far as the retail prices go, because they just raised the prices this week, guys, unfortunately, they raised it from $280 to $300 for the 100 ml bottle. They are just keep going up. I know they started at 220, they went to 265, 280, and now they're a whopping 300. Now that is, of course, expensive for a designer luxury house like Louis Vuitton when it comes to fragrances, of course, but here is what I absolutely love about them is that they will refill your bottle if you run out of your 100 ml. Take it back to the boutique and they'll give you $110 off so you can get a refill for $190 rather than buying a new bottle for $300. And I just love that they include that because I think more houses should do that so you're not really afraid of running through your bottle and going out and having to buy another $300 bottle since you love it so much. Even though for me, I probably never go through 100 ml of this because of all the fragrances I own behind me, but that still is a nice option to have. Now for the concentration, it is an Eau de Parfum, so it is higher on the concentration scale compared to like an Eau de Cologne or an Eau de Toilette, so you are getting more perfume oil, so that is always good. Now, the perfumer who is actually the master in-house perfumer for Louis Vuitton is Jack Cavalier, who's created all of the fragrances within the house and also created other fragrances with, with designer and niche houses as well. And I just think he does a fantastic job with all of the fragrances that he is behind and is quickly becoming one of my favorite perfumers of all time. So with all that information out of the way, let's go look at the packaging and presentation you get with Imagination now. So take a look at the box that the fragrance actually comes in. This isn't the only box though. You do get an orange Louis Vuitton box as you see in the top left corner on top of my shelves, which is a nice touch. This one, however, is just kind of like a recycled paper box. It does say Imagination Louis Vuitton Eau de Parfum. This is the 100 ml bottle. You have your barcode up there with the LV logo. On the bottom, your barcode and your batch code to authenticate your product to see when it was produced. And on the back, you do have all of your ingredients. And this does open from the side. And you do have your Louis Vuitton canister right here where your bottle is actually housed in this canister with the LV logo on top with that silver accent, which does look pretty nice. However, I do have to say that the packaging isn't the best, especially for the price you're paying. Now let's look at the bottle now. Now let's take a look at the Louis Vuitton bottles, which I absolutely love. Some of my favorite designer bottles by far. I just love the aesthetic they went for. Of course, Imagination Louis Vuitton embossed in the glass. On the bottom, you do have etched all around your probably your batch code and some information as well. Nothing on the back. On top, you do have your gunmetal LV logo, which is gunmetal in the men's line. Nothing inside the cap, nothing on top of the atomizer, but these are magnetic, like a very strong magnet, of course, that you can't pick up by the cap, which is always nice. So that is the packaging and presentation with imagination with this nice kind of fluorescent greenish blue color juice. In the top, you have citron, bergamot, and orange. In the mid, you have ginger, neroli, and cinnamon. And in the base, you have black tea, ambrox, and olibanum, and guyac wood. And this fragrance will be classified as a fresh citrus. So let's go to spray this and test out the distribution. Very nice distribution. I love the way the Louis Vuitton bottle sprayed. So let's go in and smell this top from Imagination now. So of course in the top you have a blast of citruses, you have that citron, bergamot, and that orange. However, the main note that sticks out to me is that citron, which is a very bright, uplifting, slightly sour citrus note that makes it very unique because 
A lot of times you don't have citrus listed as a top note. Most of the time you have like grapefruit, bergamot, orange, of course. So that is a very nice, unique touch, especially when it comes to citruses. I do have to say that Imagination is probably the most mass appealing release from the men's line of Louis Vuitton, even over Lamentite and Afternoon Swim. There's just something so easy going about this fragrance that everybody would absolutely love. It's so fresh, so clean, so citrusy, and there's nothing not to like about it. And that is another downside, especially for me, because I'm so used to high-end fragrances, niche, unique creations that are complex. That's why Imagination wasn't my favorite at first sniff, especially on paper. It does sort of come across slightly generic, but that changes very quickly as it starts to dry down. Because once you make your way into the mid is where this fragrance starts to shine a lot. You get that spicy ginger note that is very zesty. It's a ginger that does resemble Lamentite as well. Not the same fragrance by any means, just that ginger is very similar to Lamentite and I love Lamentite because of the ginger. And ginger wasn't a note that I loved maybe a year ago. I definitely had to warm up to it and now appreciate it a lot more. Now the cinnamon though, there is cinnamon listed, which is very different to have like a citrusy fresh fragrance with cinnamon. Most of the time you see cinnamon combined with like honey or tobacco, darker, deeper fragrances. So that cinnamon does add a ton of depth, a ton of character in here. And you pick up that cinnamon a lot. Probably the second main note that I detect in my nose, once we get to the mid along with that citron, I pretty much get citron, cinnamon, and a zesty ginger in the back. And obviously at first when I just went to like a Louis Vuitton boutique and just tested it very quickly, I didn't get any of that cinnamon that gave it character and depth. It was just bright and citrusy and just slightly boring in the opening. So that cinnamon is what made me love this fragrance a lot more. It just makes it very different than your typical men's designer fragrance that is citrusy and fresh and clean. But with this one, you're not gonna smell like anybody else because honestly, this is a very unique fragrance. I've smelled hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of fragrances and nothing resembles this at all. Now that Neroli that's also listed along with the ginger and cinnamon isn't dominant, it's not the main player, it's way in the background. It does add a slight clean powderiness to the fragrance though, so that's where that cleanness vibe is coming from with imagination. So if you're not a fan of Neroli, you will still enjoy this one because it's not the main player. It's just a supporting backbone to give it a clean touch. So once you make your way into the base of imagination is where another note comes through that will stick through hours and hours on your skin and that is the black tea note that is very kind of cozy comforting herbal as well and gives it a greenness too so that black tea note is so good if you love tea and fragrances this is one you're absolutely going to want to check out because it's honestly one of the best tea bases i've ever smelled you also get that musky kind of ambroxan that louis vuitton does very nicely they use ambroxan a lot in their base of fragrances this one isn't necessarily as ambroxan heavy as like la mesite ambroxan a lot of times when it's used improperly can come across very sharp and piercing and kind of off-putting this one though is a very kind of smooth rounded musky ambroxan note now ambroxan supposed to kind of resemble like ambergris from wales which is an animalic but you're not getting that kind of animalic at all from ambroxan it's just kind of a, a synthetic molecule to resemble ambergris and it's done very nicely sometimes it can be a little bit salty but it's not salty at all in the base of imagination it's just very smooth crowd pleasing and it boosts the performance a ton like ambroxan does so as far as the scent profile all in all it's phenomenal i love this one it's still not my favorite from louis vuitton but it's just this very uplifting easy going crowd pleasing mass appealing creation from jack cavalier and i heard it does get compared to like meteor from louis vuitton as well it's sort of similar meteor is actually probably my least favorite from the entire line that is honestly probably the most generic boring creation within the house but if you love meteor go ahead wear it it's still very crowd pleasing there's nothing wrong with the fragrance it smells good just very generic in my opinion so imagination pretty much goes off that dna slightly and just gives it a ton of more character, a ton more depth. Honestly, a very complex creation that you wouldn't expect when you first smell it, which I'm guilty of. I should have known better. I should have obviously tested this more instead of just writing it off right away. So don't do what I did. Give us some time, give us a full wearing on your skin and you'll see 
that you will appreciate a lot more. Now let's go over the best seasons and occasions to wear Imagination. Now, this is obviously targeted towards the spring and summer. It's not as versatile as some of the other freshies from Louis Vuitton, like Lamentite and Orage, which can be worn all year round. If you don't already know, Lamentite is pretty much my signature scent. You can wear that one in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. This one though is more suited for the warmer climates just because of how fresh it is. There's not much like deep woods or resins or anything like that. It's just all in all a very uplifting, herbaceous, fresh green fragrance that is suited for the spring and summer. So as far as occasions though, this is also a casual going fragrance. It's not formal. It's not really a fragrance that suits being suited up in a suit or a dress shirt or anything like that. It's more suited for wearing like shorts, maybe going to the beach in the summer, going to like a pool party, stuff like that is where this shines the absolute most. It could also be worn in like an office situation just because of how inoffensive it is. So you could wear it to work. You could possibly wear it to like dates as well, just because it smells good, but it's not an alluring, sexy fragrance. There's much better options for that. Now for gender and age. Honestly, even though this is targeted towards men, it's probably the most unisex fragrance within the men's line. So if you're a woman, don't be kind of scared to try this one just because it's on the men's side. You might actually really enjoy it because honestly, there's nothing that screams masculine about this fragrance whatsoever. So if you love tea, you love citrus fragrances, you love maybe like a clean uplifting fragrance as well. Definitely check this one out. Even if you're a woman, you might not be disappointed. As far as age groups though, this is one of the most youthful fragrances from Louis Vuitton. It's not mature. It does have a juvenile playful vibe about it. So Pretty much anyone like 30s and under would rock this one the absolute best. If you are 30 and up, there's much better options for you if you just want to get a fragrance from Louis Vuitton. I would definitely recommend Orage or Le Mesite if you are above that age group. Now let's wrap things off talking on the performance because the performance absolutely blew me away from the scent profile and DNA. You wouldn't expect this to last long, but this is one of the best performers from Louis Vuitton got above average longevity probably around 10 hours plus even on my skin and i think it's coming from that ambroxan heavy base that is just making this fragrance last for ages on skin as far as the projection it wasn't necessarily bad i got heavy projection maybe an arm's length away for three to four hours so that is very very decent especially for a freshie so no complaints at all. It is one of the better performers from Louis Vuitton. So if you're looking for a freshie that can last you through an entire work shift, this is one you're absolutely going to want to check out because it's above average and I was shocked by the performance of Imagination. So that's going to do it for my review of the newest launch within the men's line, Imagination. Let me know down below if you have any experience with the house of Louis Vuitton or Imagination in general. I'm very curious to hear you guys' thoughts because I've been obsessed with this house lately and definitely will be adding more in the future. But besides that, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.